A very warm welcome back to Globetrotting. Over 70% of viewers are not subscribed, and as I'm trying to push at 50,000, your support would be greatly appreciated. There are aircraft types throughout history that have been hugely influential in shaping where we are today. The Boeing 777 family is one of those reliable planes that has just worked with so many airlines. Spurred on in the late 1980s by a plane maker that was enjoying a lot of success with its aircraft programs, and also a company that was finally being able to see what twin-engined aircraft could genuinely do for companies right around the world. This was attributed with thanks to the 767's rise and even the 757, which was enjoying success. But see, Boeing knew that they needed a new aircraft type that would bridge the gap between the 767 and its successful but also more than aware large quad-engined 747. Driven by a desire to offer a wide range of capabilities and also better efficiency, key company executives undertook extensive market research to determine the best course of action, this being one of the initial steps when we're seeing the launch of a new aircraft type. These studies brought back a few results, but one of the highlights being the desire for a twin-engined aircraft that was capable of A, flying long missions, B, doing so with a large capacity, but C, just not being that of a 747. Boeing did collaborate closely with airlines during the design phase of this new airliner, seeking crucial input to tailor what would be known as the 777 to meet specific operational requirements, the logic being if you're working directly with a customer that is interested in the product, the likelihood that you can perfect the aircraft for them and then result in orders is high. But see, there were some companies that didn't follow this. Airlines like Qantas actually played a pivotal role in shaping the features of the 777. However, interestingly, not only would they never go on to order the 777, but they'd never order the 777X either. The result came through an introduction in 1995 of the 777, featuring innovative technologies like powerful but also efficient engines, and the series enjoyed a successful launch. And if we're reflecting on its journey since, well, it's seen worldwide with multiple variants from the base model launching to meet range, demand, capacity, and much more. It's been a very well-rounded wide body that now even enjoys operations as a core freighter aircraft. Less than two decades after its introduction into the industry with United Airlines, Boeing actually announced the development of the 777X in response to market changes and also the requirement for a new efficient long-haul aircraft that boasted updated technology. The 777X was unveiled in 2013 after much study and deliberation, and it builds upon the successful foundation of the original 777 series, while incorporating technology that can be truly deemed as an improvement. However, its launch at the time it did really came thanks to the success enjoyed with Airbus's wide body, the A350 series, which was growing in the market and rivaling the 777's market share. The 787, which was an aircraft that was already being offered by Boeing, couldn't necessarily fight off the success by the A350 series, as they're two very different aircraft, and many believed that Boeing needed an immediate response. While being introduced now some time ago, the plane is still yet to fly with passengers aboard. And it's why some would argue that the series has sold so poorly and can't truly beat out the A350. We also have to consider that the A350 is a plane that's been flying for some time now. So, of course, it is going to have advantages in that realm. The Boeing 777X represents how I touched on a massive evolution over the 777 series. It does come from noticeable changes to the aircraft and arguably one of the biggest is the new large General Electric GENA engines. This is one of the largest and most powerful commercial aircraft engine ever produced. Its mammoth size is a sight to behold. As with many new aircraft iterations, the 777X also harbors improvements with its wings. One of the biggest features is that of the folding wingtips. What this does is allow the aircraft to fit into existing airport gates, and then while in flight, these come down to optimize lift. 
The 777X also offers higher seating capacity in comparison to the original 777. If you're after how this is achieved, it is through a redesigned interior layout that can accommodate for more passengers. But at the end of the day, when it boils down to everything, capacity will always be dictated by what a customer wants from the aircraft. That is why we see such differing capacities depending on an airline's business model, where they intend to fly the aircraft, and much more. Ultimately, though, an increase in capacity does come as a response to the requirement for higher capacity planes, but all the while doing so in an efficient manner, and ideally not coming with four engines. On top of that, this next generation plane has better materials that make up its structure. What does this do? Well, generally speaking, it allows for weight reduction, which impacts efficiency right across the board and brings down costs. The Boeing 777X is currently expected to launch with with customers in 2025. We do have to realize it has not been approved though, and it has had significant delays to its EIS, that being the entry into service, which was initially slated for 2020. The thing is, delays aren't abnormal for a new aircraft when entering the world of aviation. However, many argue that the manufacturer has seen delays related to its 777X balloon out. You could also point the finger at the MAX crisis and the subsequent tightening of approval for new aircraft as another reason why we haven't seen this plane thus far. According to many, the aircraft has been a little bit up and down when it comes to orders. Obviously, the majority of them occurred in the first few years following the program launch, but since then it has dried up. In 2023, to its credit, the program did get a commitment from Air India and a top-up from leading customer Emirates, which meant it was getting some business. But it'll be very interesting to see where that business comes from in the future. Many people are of the firm opinion that future business will only come once the plane receives its certification and is flying with airlines. Then these prospective customers will have a better model to be able to really analyze whether the plane is best suited for their needs. For now, there is a lot of unknown and at the end of the day while 2025 is earmarked as for when it will be approved we just don't know what may happen between now and then and while that's me speculating saying who knows what can happen i think if the past four to five years have taught us absolutely anything it's to never predict anything that may come in the next week as you just don't know what's going to happen do you believe though the 777x has a long-term future but also a positive one within the industry I'd love to hear your take as well on how you believe Boeing will be able to obtain orders long into the future. Will this be, yes, achieved through time and patience and when the aircraft is eventually approved? Are you on the other side of the spectrum and of the belief that the A350 series already has one up on the type and Boeing will be playing catch up for as long as the 777X is in the air and it is something that will continue to cloud over the program? You can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so very much for your support here on the channel. As always, it really does mean a lot. I hope you do take care. Do also please stay safe and I will indeed see you next time.